Have you ever wondered how do I play Polenshing Raven on PC? Perhaps you already do and it doesn't run good? In this video, we are going to answer just that. Well, hey there, deal with it here. Now, before we start anything, I highly suggest you go watch my previous video on the topic where I go further into details. This tutorial is going to be on emulator while we wait for the official PC version of PGR to release. Please note that we are going to use LD Player 9 here, but there are other options options such as Mew Mew. So first, all you need to do is go on LD Player's official website, which is going to be en.ldplayer.net. And now you're going to be on this welcome page and you just need to click on download LD Player 9, which is the yellow button right here. What I recommend you to do is to create a special folder to put your install in. So for example, like on desktop, and then I have an emulator folder. Then you just make like an LD player folder or something, and then you just put it here. Now, once you downloaded your file, it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is find where you put it. So for me, it's going to be on emulators, LD player, and then right here, LD player 9. So just click on yes. Then it's going to take you to the installing software. So if you click on setup path right here, you can choose where you put uh, LD player. I recommend you put it in the same folder as you uh, install your file in the first place. For me, it's going to be desktop, emulators, LD player, and then just click on install, reject. Now when it's done installing, as you can see, it creates shortcuts on your desktop. So right here, it's LD Player 9, you just click on that. And we are in. So first thing you want to do is go on Google Play Store right here and sign in your Google account. So right here, you just put your email. Once this is done, you can just search for PGR on the search bar. Punishing Gray, oops. Gray Raven right here. It might take some time to download depending on your hard drive and uh, Wi-Fi speed. Great! Now you're done installing PGR and you can just play it right here. As you can see, there are already pre-made keybinds for you, but this is what I chose. Here's how the default keybinds look like on LD Player. We are going to change a few things here. Please note that I have a French keyboard, so my layout is not the same, but I will put the English equivalent for you guys on the screen. Before doing that, we need to change the position of some of those buttons. So the first two ones here are not positioned correctly. We need to move them a little bit on the upper right, like that. Also, since an update, PGR added a new button to press, which is going to be around here, I think. So what you need to do is drag this little A on the position you want, like that. And for the last thing, this is what I like to do personally. The attack button by default is set to the left mouse click. So again, you need to drag this little A on the position right here and click on the cross to remove the old keybind and there you go. Now this might seem like a lot of buttons to press, but do not worry. The longer you play, the better you'll get used to it. So it's pretty simple here. I have A and E to switch between my teammates. The R key is going to be for the pet button. Then I have my numbers here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's for your orbs. Uh, the J key is for attacking. The F key is for dodging. And finally, the P key is for your special. Then I have my directional keys. So for me, it's going to be Z, Q, S, D. But for you, it might be W, A, S, D. Once you are done with your keybinds, you don't really need to copy mine, it's just an example. What you can do is tick off that box here, which is show the key map prompt in games, tick off that, and you can just click on save. Now if you check the FPS counter on the top left, you might see that we are stuck to 60 FPS and that sometimes we have frame drops. You might be wondering why is that the case? Most of the time it's a settings issue. Let me show you. What you need to do is go on LD player settings, which are going to be on menu and then settings. First thing first, we gotta up the resolution. I don't know if you saw it, but the game kinda look like blurry. It's because we are only on 1600 by 900. So what you need to do is choose 1920 by 
1080. Now this is going to be a bit more technical for your CPU and RAM. If you have a 6 core processor like mine, I recommend you only leave it on 4 cores. But if you have a lower end processor, I recommend you then choose 2 cores. For your RAM amount, if you have 16 GB or more of RAM, I recommend you put the maximum, which is going to be 8 gigs. But if you have 8 GB or less of RAM, I recommend you choose 4 or 6 GB. So for me, it's going to be 4 cores and 8 GB. Then on game settings, what you want to do is up the frame rate cap. The reason we were stuck at 60 is because our limit is of course at 60. So then choose 120 or more. I personally choose 120, it's just as fine. Then click on confirm and then save settings.